Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? I hope everything's good with you. It's cool with me. I don't have no complaints, but I need to say something today to you. This is going to be real quick. Probably one of the shortest ones I've ever done. Black men are tired. Yep, we tired. Black men, we just tired. Man, we just, you know, the misuse, the, it, the abuse. The lack of love, lack of compassion, you know what I'm saying? We, we don't have anybody to open up and talk to because you say we just be a weak. You're not concerned about our feelings and emotions. The only time that we're good for you is when we got something to give you. We're tired of it. You know, all of the things we've had to go through and suffer this road as black men being on this planet in this time dealing with the things we've had to deal with on this earth and then coming from our own women the sure hate and, and lack of appreciation we fed up but then I know you know I'm saying this and I know you really don't care you know at the end of the day it don't nobody care and so what's happening is we have to make changes. And so once we make these changes, now it's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get compassion except the black man. Everybody can state their case and say whatever they're going through, and it's no big deal. People will listen to you. The white man get compassion. The white woman gets some compassion. The black woman get compassion. The Jews get compassion. Everybody get compassion except the black man. We got to suck it up. Only time we real value to someone is when we giving them something, when they can get something from us. Other than that, get out of here. It's not even fashionable to say anything good about a black man. Oh, we got sisters that say, oh, I love my black men. But we have a whole bunch of sisters ready to jump on that, throw the black man under the bus line. They lined up to do that. And you know what? A lot of cases, they don't even know why. They don't even know why they do it. Because it's not fashionable to say anything good about a black man, and we tired now. That's just it. And I know you don't want to hear it. And as much as I hate to curse out here on this social media publicly, you know I don't be cursing. But this one, I got to rip it out to you. Black men, we are tired, and guess what? Don't nobody give a damn. You don't. Have you ever listened to a black man before? Just really open up and tell you his mind? Have you really sat down and say, brother, talk to me, what's going on? You know what? Because we have had to carry this so long by ourselves, we don't even know it how to open up and share what we feeling on the inside because don't nobody give a crap go over there to the woman she got a whole bunch of gab for you just talking 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 she this she this she this she that it's this he that that little bit little this that, 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 that whole bunch of conversation because she used to saying all that so she can suck up your compassion to get what she want but then the black man you know he he been a man he's just like okay whatever because there's other things that we be running on. But we done got tired. Yes, we need that love. Yes, we need to hear that compassion. Absolutely. You know, we don't necessarily need to be getting them awards every single day. But here and there to do special things that let us know you really, really love us. That's what keeps us going. Because as a man, we want to make you happy. We want to do these things for you. We want to care for you. We want to be a father. We want to be a, 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 a great provider. We want to do that. But do we don't want to battle when we come home. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to be feeling like we misuse and abuse and only thing we there for is what we can do for you other than that. Get in the corner. Sit down at the table. You serve a plate of food if you serve a plate of food without the forks and spoons and knife. And then you gotta go back in the kitchen 
and bring the forks and spoon and knives and you get in the kitchen and get caught up either the phone rang caught up with the children something else and then we sitting out there in front of the food that we can't eat waiting on you to come back with the fork spoon and knife because why you don't forgot about us just that quick and then we tired have you ever really sat down and listened to a black man tell you was really really on his mind was really on his heart just let him talk no you know why you don't care it don't matter he just a just a black guy <laughs> you haven't even sat down and listened to him and let him just tell you what he think what he feel without interrupting him Without getting all emotional and cutting them off, saying, oh, it ain't like that. You haven't done that. You know why? You don't care. If you would ever one day sit down and really shut up, open your ears, and allow this brother to talk to you, you would be amazed. You will find out that there's a man that you've been around that you don't even know. And a lot of that bullshit that he been putting up with from you, you didn't even realize yourself you was on some bullshit. But he did. And because he loved you, he had compassion for you and just let it slide because you wasn't really, you know, killing the family. You were just a knucklehead. And so he provided space in his mind to deal with you being a knucklehead and he kept on loving you. And you never even knew it. Why? Because when he was trying to talk to you, you over-talked him and you didn't care. So the brother just shut up. Okay, go ahead. Whatever you got to say. Whatever. you know. And so he just wanted to, you understand, keep the family together. And he just kind of overlooked that stuff that you was doing that you didn't care to make you no difference. To maintain the family but at the end of the day black men are tired we tired of the abuse we tired of the negative stereotype we tired of being oppressed so pressed depressed push back push down and I know that happened to us because of our greatness and you never hear anything great about a black man what he doing what he thinking what he can do Except screw have babies, get on the basketball court, play football, and that's about it. But you don't never hear about that great black man mind. Why? It's a reason behind that. But we tired now. And when you get tired, you definitely make changes. And a lot of you all are not liking the changes that you see in the black men doing and we getting on up out of there and now you see the brothers make these changes you see the brothers getting on up out of there guess what you got a problem with that <laughs> anyway black men are tired you don't even know us you've never even taken time to sit down and hear what we have to say you know why because you don't give a damn. Nubian King said it because I love you. I love you with a perfect love. I love you from the basement of my heart to the attic of my mind. That's why I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to you. I love you 24-7. I mean, I love you all the time. Shalom.